righty, it's time for Feaser. Feaser's back. Feaser's been busted. Uh, liking his... <laughs> another discussion with himself. Feaser's been busted to have another discussion himself going crazy over Gabe Hoffman. I didn't know Gabe Hoffman's even done anything. But whatever. <laughs> Feaser's alt Twitter account went after Gabe Hoffman. And then Feaser said, this is a great job by me. Yeah, I did a great job. <laughs> Feaser's on he's unhinged. He's a lunatic. Holy shit. Oh. All right, let, let's I'm gonna I'm gonna try to do this. Let's 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 go over Feaser's because I think this could be funny. Let's go over Feaser's ridiculous <laughs> screed. His insane screed on Game Hoff. Who cares about Game fucking Hoffman? Oh my god, okay, all right, let's go. He is profoundly <laughs> no, I'm not gonna do that. I'm going to do it. So I do it as Colonel Kurtz Feaser. I've seen horrors. Horrors that you've seen. But you have no right to call me Teddy Feaser on the internet. You have the right to kill me. You have the right to do that. But you have no right to feaze me. It's impossible for words to describe what is necessary to those who do not know who Feaser is. Feaser. Feaser has a face and you must make a friend of Feaser. It's Colonel Kurtz Feaser. No, we won't do Colonel Kurtz Feaser. He's profoundly influenced by his ethnic considerations. For example, he referred to Brittany as a traitor to her blood and openly declared his commitment to promoting Jewish interests on the killster. By the way, this is the same word processing uh, software that Teddy used before. It's the same type of word processing uh, software that he used before when he copies and pastes his uh, eight-hour-long screed about DMs. He copies and pastes them to this same... It's the same font. Uh, it's the same. Everything's the same. So it's obviously Teddy. He's not fooling anybody. So I'll keep going. He views, he views Nick as a significant threat. I don't think he does. But believes Nick can be neutralized with timely and decisive action. Not only decisive action, but timely and decisive action. This is written by like a seventh grader. Feaser's insane. To address this perceived threat... He found a niche on the internet where he can directly engage with specific streamers by <laughs> offering a relatively modest sum. <laughs> no, no, Teddy, you didn't say that. By <laughs> offering relatively, like, $2 in the case of Casino Casino. He gives him $2 as a joke. Offering a relatively modest sum, he can sway not only those street. <laughs> Excuse me. By offering a relatively modest sum, he can sway not only these streamers, but also their followers to target his adversaries. <laughs> this approach offers several advantages over traditional firms. Traditional firms? What are you talking about? A traditional firm? Like, like a law firm? What is Fieser saying here? Is Visa saying that Gabe Hoffman would use a law firm to to do what? To pay money to make fun of him on the internet? Is there a law firm out there that gets paid to make fun of people on the internet? If so, you know, where do I apply? I can provide you with uh, prevent, uh, you know, a great, <laughs> we had a modest price too, with some great content. <laughs> it's more cost effective, provides a higher degree of plausible deniability. <laughs> And the streamer's followers often participate without compensation. <laughs> Driven by entertainment. Really? And they act ruthlessly. <laughs> well, there are rumors of him providing for financial rewards discreetly. There's also a veiled threat. A line of this demands their face repercussions. What, what is the veiled threat by paying somebody $2 to make fun of you as a joke? Oh, this is fucking gold. 
Evidence suggests that he supplies these streamers and online influencers with specific narratives or talking points. Really? Does he really? <laughs> Does he really? Does, is that why they make fun of you, Teddy? Is it because that Gabe Hoffman provided financial <laughs> financial incentives to make fun of you on the internet for being a faggot? Oh my God! Those who align with the sub sorry, those who align with the sub <laughs> those who align with the objectives reap financial benefits. Two dollars. I thought it was modest. Holy shit. I'm going to get through this. I'm going to do it. Those who align with his objectives reap financial benefits and, more critically, are shielded from his adversarial campaigns. <laughs> what? Part of his campaign strategy appears to include reaching out to payment processors, or at the very least, connecting with individuals who can. Additionally, he circulates personal details of his targets, including names, photos, town addresses, and any embarrassing or damaging facts about them. You're saying that Gabe Hoffman does this? Gabe Hoffman reaches out to payment processors? What the hell is this? Since when has he done this? Well, he's done none of this, of course. RPG, <laughs> RPG stands out as someone who rejected his overtures and consequently found himself in the line of fire. Yeah, Teddy. Uh, I'm sure that Gabe Hoffman reached out to you to give you money to talk about stupid shit. You fucking idiot. He's also trained his crosshairs on several streamers associated with Cozy, like Dalton and Tyler Russell. Dalton who? Did you not know how to spell Clodfelter? Is that why you didn't put Dalton Clodfelter's last name in there? The dynamics with Ralph are more nuanced. After Ralph left Cozy, Gabe initially saw an opportunity for collaboration. But any semblance of alliance quickly disintegrated when Ralph refused to yield on Zionism. Holy shit, Desi. There's, there's, there's a second one here. There's okay, part two. <laughs> the dynamics within this on, online landscape are also shaped by personal motivations and shifting alliances. Teddy, this is people fucking around in the internet, you idiot. The casino, for instance. What casino? Why don't you just say the Kino Casino? Because it sounds stupid to say it's the Kino Casino. The casino, for instance... Who, what are you talking about? What casino? Imagine somebody from the outside world reading this. He would have no idea what the fuck you're talking about. Teddy is so fucked in the head, and he's so terminally online that he just does these short, these shorthand, you know, references to things, and it just makes it takes, none of it makes any sense. You need to touch grass, Teddy. Really. The casino, for instance, operate as greedy nihilists. They seem more engrossed in personal profit indicated an apathy towards genuine political discourse. The show is called The Kino Casino, and you're pissed off, Teddy, that they're making money. They're, you're pissed off because they're making money and you're not, and they made fun of you. They're, they, they're not, they don't care about genuine political discourse. What is genuine political discourse, Teddy? You fucking idiot. Their primary aim seems to be profit. That's what you just said. Indifferent to the larger implications of their affiliations, they would have no qualms about siding with Gabe. Ted, 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 Ted. Jaden in contrast. Jaden in contrast appears largely driven by spite, especially towards Nick. So he's really mad that Jaden turned on him and made fun of him. He's really, really mad. Jaden spent a week trying to pull Teddy's head out of his ass, trying to tar and wrangle Teddy. A week he spent trying to do this and he still he just, he just threw up his hand and said fuck it I can't do it anymore and here we are his readiness to partner with anyone opposing Nick becomes evident through his actions despite having previously given RPC <laughs> RPG a slew of reasons what is a slew a slew of reasons to coleslaw is like slaw despite having previously given RPG a slew of reasons to avoid any truce with Ralph Jaden quickly attempted a collaboration with Ralph after the latter's departure from Cozy. Well, yeah, after he left Cozy, you dumb fuck. After he left Cozy, you fucking idiot. He wasn't trying to join Cozy, you fucking retard. This suggests Jaden's opportunistic nature and flexible allegiances when it comes to his vendetta against Nick. Jaden would likely be fine working with Gabe, even if he agrees with him on many issues. Working with Gabe on what? Nobody's working with uh, on anything, you fucking idiot. Considering all the above, it's plausible he has reached... Who is he? 
Teddy, Jaden? Because you were just talking about Jaden. So who is he in this sentence you're talking about? You write like a fucking retard. Considering all the above, it's plausible he has reached out to high-profile streamers and influencers, particularly those less inclined to challenge Jewish-related narratives. That's by assessing the Gabe Hoffman situation and why he involves himself here. How dare you, Gabe Hoffman? Because you're a Jew, it's Gabe Hoffman. Teddy is a fucking retard. I'm just going to say it. He's an unhinged fucking lunatic. He writes like a fucking retard. He sounds like a retard. I don't know what he's talking about. He's completely insane. I should have read this in the fucking Kurt's voice. Because he's fucking nuts. Only Kurtz was not nuts. Kurtz decided that you need to have a will. In this fucked up war, if you're going to win it. Kurtz decided that you needed to do what you needed to do. K Teddy's just a fucking retard who gets mad at people who laugh at him. So he just makes shit up out of his ass. And, and he just fees. This is just feezing. It's great. It's fantastic, though. Bravo, Teddy, for looking like a fucking idiot and get yourself back involved in the sector. And busting yourself for having a, um, an alt who you agreed with instead of it was you. Thanks, Teddy.